Hey everyone, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can flash the ESP32 cam and run a simple ESP32 cam web server sketch in order to create a simple live feed camera setup. ESP32 cam is basically an ESP32 without CP2102 chip. Instead, it is equipped with a 2 megapixel OV2640 camera module and an SD card reader on the bottom side of the board. Also, the camera module is switchable, which means we can upgrade this camera from a 2 megapixel to a 5 megapixel camera or a higher. It cost around $10, which is pretty sweet price tag for such a capable microcontroller. The Wi-Fi module used in this version is the ESP32S, which have a built-in 32 megabyte of flash and 512 kilobyte internal plus external 4 Mbps RAM. It has 9 I.O. ports and its default baud rate is 115200 BP. Also it is 5V tolerant which means we can hook it up with an external 5V charger setup but a voltage above 5V will kill the module. Its specs are somewhat similar to the generic ESP32 so I won't be listing the whole spec chart. The goal here is to connect the ESP32 cam with an FTDI module and program it with the camera web server sketch, which will allow us to monitor the camera feed with a web app. The next level of this project is to make a rock solid Wi-Fi security camera, which is coming soon. So without any further ado, let's get started. These are the things that you will need for this build. A breadboard, ESP32 cam, FTDI module, wires and Wi-Fi connection. For installing the third party's development board on Arduino IDE, we have to copy their JSON URL which is in our case this. Copy the URL and paste it in the additional board manager URL which is in the preferences of Arduino IDE. If you already have other development board URL in the additional board manager, you can put a comma between two URLs. After putting the URL, open the board manager and search ESP32 in it and then download the ESP32 board package. After doing all this, you need to restart the Arduino IDE and the new ESP32 boards will appear in the board manager menu. The ESP32 cam does have an onboard programming chip, which is a bummer. Because of this, now we have to add an external USB to serial programmer module in it. For that, I will be using this USB to serial module. This module is based around the FTDI FT232 chip but you can use any other serial converter as well. The wiring will remain same for them as we only have to connect TX and RX with the ESP32 and FTDI chip. Here's the wiring diagram between ESP32 and the FTDI module. Set the FTDI output to 5 volt. Connect the FTDI's VCC which is 5 volt to the 5 volt of ESP32 cam ground to ground, RX to U0T and TX to U0R, GPIO0 which is IO0 to ground. This will put the ESP32 cam in the flash mode. Before the flashing process, you need to change few things in the example sketch. Go to example ESP32 camera and open the camera web server sketch. Input your SSID and password in it. Change the camera module from camera module rover kit to camera module AI thinker. Now go to the tool and select the right board, which is in our case AI thinker ESP32 cam. Select the right port and hit upload. Now when the ESP32 starts its uploading process, you will see the connecting message with dots and dashes. Press the reset button on the bottom side of board when the dots and dashes starts. If you have encountered an error during the setup that say unable to connect, this means your timing was not good. 
try this again and when the first dot appear in the debugging menu long press the reset button for at least one second after doing this your sketch will be uploaded now plug out the usb from ftdi module and remove the jumper between gpio 0 and ground now plug in the usb and open the serial monitor the ESP32 will connect with the Wi-Fi which would take roughly one minute and you will see the IP address of ESP32 CAM in the serial monitor. Well the next step is that we need to copy this IP address of the board from the serial monitor and open it up in the Chrome and this web server will pop up. So what's next? So the next level or the next step would be to make a breakout PCB for this setup which will have an AC to DC 5 volt 1 ampere charger circuit on it. Why? Well the reason is simple. I will place it outside and power it with AC. This setup will also have a 3D printed body that will house the custom PCB in a single solid package. And it will look something like this. Well for now this is it guys, leave a comment if you have any issues or problem during the programming step. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.